that night, they wanted me to jump off the balcony and uh, believe it or not, I'm scared of heights. <laughs> like if I, if I jump, if I go up real quick and jump, it's no problem. But if I have to stand up there and wait, uh, I get cold feet without double cross. I, I did anyways, because he motherfuckered you know, Vince and WWF for years and all of a sudden we're working for him. And, and, and we're doing what, what Vince wanted when Paul E was saying, uh, we're not gonna do what he wants, we're gonna do it our way. They didn't, they, they didn't, do, they didn't give me too much guidelines. After that they did. They said, you can't do this, can't do that, after I, because see, I, I figured out, Polly clued me in, he goes, don't ask him if it's okay to do something, just do it, then they'll tell you not to do it next time, but if you ask him now, they're gonna say no. Was Vince giving you direction directly no, that he, night? he or? gave direction to Polly. Polly gave them to me, so that way, uh, when I said I didn't understand, I could always blame it on Polly. you know. <laughs> see, Polly did back us up, a little, you know, pretty much. He said, in order for us to get over, we, we have to do it our way, you know, not necessarily our way, but the ECW way. In your dealings with Jerry, did you get a sense that he did really dislike ECW? Yeah, he, he did. Uh, <clears throat> so did Vince, so did everybody. Is it true you had Pee Wee give you extra blade cuts because there wasn't enough coming from the barbed wire? Yeah, see, the barbed wire, it's hard to get, uh, I shouldn't really say this, but anyway, it's hard to bleed very good when it's real deep. At this, uh, at the pay-per-view, uh, Paul E, before the show, uh, just gets up on the stairs there and gives a big, uh, very much like the Messiah, <laughs> stands up and addresses the uh, the pulpit. Um, you remember that? Yeah. Were you moved? No. It has been said that Candido had to work as an intermediary between Cornette and Paul E because they didn't want to talk. Yeah, Is this right. true? Yeah, it's true. How'd that work out? It's amazing they even put a deal together. Well, money talks, you know. Cornette wanted money and Paulie wanted business. I thought uh, he took advantage of Pablo because if Pablo was to, Pablo Marquez that is, if he was to fight back or to stand up for himself, he would have been fired. So I really was pretty loyal to Pauly. More loyal than anybody knew. Who might be somebody that wasn't so loyal that was considering going? Uh, probably Sandman, probably, uh, uh, probably Eliminators, I think. Holly kind of took the ECW from Todd, you know what I mean? He kind of took it without, uh, in Todd's eyes, he didn't deserve it. Uh -huh. And Holly, in his eyes, Todd didn't deserve it. But I made more money than everybody else, but, but I wasn't supposed to tell anybody that. Well, they handed my check to one of the girls, I won't say who, on accident. And she looked at it, she goes, wow, I got a raise. You know, it was for a couple thousand, you know, like $10,000. That was more than anybody else. Most anybody else made it was like a thousand or something. She, she she goes, oh shit, that's not mine, that's Sabu's. So she told everybody what I made. So Sandman and Van Dam and a few other guys uh, was gonna quit unless they got more money. So I paid them out of my own pocket to keep them from quitting. I crazy glued my lips closed and I taped my mouth shut and I had a straw just so I could drink some protein. And then five days later, I went to the hospital and had it wired. Why didn't you go? I just didn't. Uh, I, just, uh, I don't know, not to point any fingers, but the guys would see how I, how I wrestled and how I got over, so, so they would kind of copy it. Now, if everybody's doing the same thing, then it makes what I'm doing not special no more. You know what I mean? So if everybody did the same thing, which at, at one point everybody was, everybody was breaking the table, everybody was doing this and that. Your testicles depend on you remembering what happened on this day, <laughs> June 22nd, 1997. What? You got married. Oh, okay, well, so what? <laughs> I had a motorhome at the time, so I took my family on the road. I took my wife and my dog, and we'd pick Van Damme up, we'd pick Louis Piccoli up, we'd pick my referee up, pick Fonzie up, and then we went on the road. I was taught to work and make it look like it's killing somebody without killing somebody. If you're killing somebody, then it's not that good of a work. I never understood, like, when someone goes, man, you're my idol. If, I, if I'm your idol, why do you want to beat me? Before that, everybody else was wrestling WWF style or WCW style, but with a lot less pay. And when I came in, I took it over, I did my style, which I learned from Japan, and I learned from my uncle throughout the years, and uh, that became ECW style.